Okay, so let's go ahead and start drawing these amino acids. So we're looking for 20 of them, okay? And we're going to divide them into nonpolar amino acids and polar amino acids. All right. Okay, so let's start with the easy ones. So first one we have, so again, draw your amine. And I'm not going to color code these each time. Again, on a physiological pH, they'll be protonated. So, all right. The first one is called glycine. Okay, this has a three-letter code. A GLY and a one letter code of just G. All right. Second easiest one mean on the left, alpha carbon carboxyl carboxylate, excuse me. And then we draw our wedge where our R group is going to go. All right. And then we can draw the back wedge the hydrogen if we want to. Okay, and this is now alanine. And so the R group here is just a methyl group, so CH3. So remember, uh, this is the convention that you learn in organic chemistry where every N and every bend has a carbon, so the CH3 is implied here. The three letter code for alanine is ALA, and the one letter code is A. All right, excellent. Okay, so now we have uh, we have the branched nonpolar amino acids. It doesn't look like we'll make the polar on this board. We'll have to erase it. But let's look at the branched uh, nonpolar amino acids. So we're going to start with valine. So NH3 plus. Carboxylate, wedge, okay, and then valine starts with a V, and the side chain looks like a V, okay? So these are CH3 here, CH3 here, and a CH here, okay? Valine, three letter code is VAL, one letter code is V. Leucine is similar. It's also branched. Amine, alpha carbon, carboxylate, wedge. And notice how up here, uh, from here on out, I'm not going to use the dash wedges to show the H, but the hydrogen is there. Uh, but it's implied in the structure, okay? So this one has a second carbon for the branch. So it also looks kind of like the V, like valine, but it has this extra carbon in between it. And so this is leucine. Three letter code is LEU. One letter code is L. Isoleucine, as the name implies, sort of, if you think of like pentane and isopentane, is an isomer. The side chain is an isomer of leucine. So we'll draw it right here. Is iso, ooh. Yeah. Isoleucine. And then we go amine on the left, Car alpha carbon, alpha carboxylate, wedge, and then All right, so that's isoleucine, okay? And this is just an isomer of leucine. So instead of, you have, if you look at the side chain, you have one, two, three, four carbons. In isoleucine, you also have one, two, three, four carbons, but they're just arranged differently. So it's an isomer of leucine, okay? So those are the branched. And then we're going to look at now the 
Um, we're going to look at one more oddball in this. I call it oddball. Kind of like glycine is a bit of an oddball because this is the one that has no chiral carbon, right? The rest of these have chiral alpha carbons. All right. So for this one, this is called proline. This has a funky structure. So notice how I didn't put the hydrogens on there yet. And that's because this has a five membered ring. Oops. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, so this has this five membered ring. Again, this also shows the stereochemistry that loops back to the alpha mean. Okay, so it connects uh, the alpha carbon, uh, this five membered ring, with the alpha mean. Uh, the nitrogen of the alpha mean. And so this is proline. And I don't know if this is obvious enough, but this is a wedge here. Okay? So proline, this has the three letter code of PRO and a one letter code of P. All right? So this starts off our nonpolar amino acids, and then I'm going to erase the board, and then we'll look at the next set.